Figured I'd take a little break from the stupid uh, Dodge Raider. Eh, fiddle around with the Suburban a little bit. Throughout the years of uh, daily driving it, I had very few problems really. Um, I fought a big fuel issue at one time. And uh, I chased that for a while, but it's one of those cases where you uh, go after the bigger things when you should look at the smaller, stupid things first, is what I've learned anyway. But um, I ended up taking the uh, whole fuel tank down, figuring that it was uh, <clears throat> the lines that go in, you know, on top. So, basically what it was doing was, uh, you'd go down the road, you'd idle fine in the driveway all day, and you'd go down the road and it would just die like it ran out of gas, but anyway, long story short, um, I took that down, the tank was rusty, the lines were a little shitty looking, so I put all new stuff, put a whole new tank on there, 42 gallons, um, started up, does the same exact thing. And uh, after fighting with it, it turned out to be $12 fuel pump. Yep. The little spring inside was shot, so it would idle fine, but when you started to drive it and give it gas, it would die. So that's all that was. Every once in a while, too, um, it would start to just start to kind of miss and, and run shitty when you were driving it. Very rare that it would do it. Um, and it just kind of clear itself out. So I had uh, I had done a tune-up on it, you know, basic plugs, wires, cap, rotor and stuff. Um, turns out, you know, it didn't help it at all. It would still, every now and then, it would do that. When I was uh, fighting my fuel issue, I uh, thought it was a carburetor because the carburetor I had on it, it was an Edelbrock and it was a little bit uh, old and dusty and figuring it might be having a problem. Started doing that missing thing when I was uh, messing with it then. So then I, it's, it's like, you know, your mind jumps to different things and... Um, Believe it or not, there was a, a boat at a donation yard I worked. Someone had donated their boat um, for charity, and uh, my buddy that worked there said, Hey, that boat, you know, a lot of boats have small block Chevys, but, you know, they have marine stuff on them, obviously. And uh, he said, I, I, It doesn't look like um, that's normal marine stuff. So I went and climbed inside the boat, and there was a. Uh, uh, nice shiny new Edelbrock that's, that clearly wasn't a marine carburetor it had a uh, different part number and it also had a regular distributor in it that looked uh, fairly new you know at the time it was obviously a lot shinier than this and that too but um, so it looks like somebody had uh, had that boat and they weren't didn't know what they were doing they just went you know, opened up Summit or whatever, you know, and and just ordered uh, new stuff not knowing they needed boat stuff. But anyway, whether it worked or not for them, um, I went ahead and uh, took that because the motor in the boat had a big hole in the side of the block. It froze and everything, so it was no good anyway. So I needed that carburetor and distributor, so I took that and I plunked it in this. And like I said, it wasn't even anything like that in the end. It was the stupid fuel pump the whole time. So after that, it ran pretty good. But then, like I said, every now and then, it would still do that thing where it would start to run rough and miss. And um, Anyway, it got worse over the years. 
and uh, up till actually um, just before I stopped driving it last time um, and you know I was driving it every day and it was uh, it was running real bad but on the highway if you held it down it, it still went so I was driving it to work like that didn't have the time to uh, really mess with it so when we went ahead and moved uh, as you've seen I I trailered it up to kind of save fuel and because um, it was using a lot the way it was running it was using you know a lot of fuel and uh, so I had it parked in the backyard and uh, last time I went to move it around to get it in the garage it, um, before winter here it, it barely ran I mean it was you could watch the video um, I believe it's called uh, Suburban uh, starts up angry or something along those lines and it was angry it was popping and farting out the pipes I mean so I got thinking and you know a guy on YouTube said you know he left a comment said you know uh, you might want to you know switch out that distributor he's like you know sometimes um, you know a fresh new distributor just does a lot and I started to think you know I didn't really know anything about that distributor that came out of that boat. And um, so I got thinking, and I said, well, I'll probably just buy a fresh new one. But just being after Christmas and stuff, really didn't have the, uh, the funds to just start buying parts like that. So I said, I think I might have kept the original one. And sure enough, I did. It's been sitting around. I had it in a box up there. And... Uh, <clears throat> so I was like, you know what? For the hell of it, I'll just swap the other one back in and see if it makes a difference. Hey, you know, if it does, it does, and it's a nice day. Uh, if it doesn't, then something else. I did suspect maybe uh, a loose timing chain on this thing uh, for a while. Um, just seemed like that to me, but I never did take it apart. So, can't hurt. I, uh, so once in a while you just kind of, you got to hear something run to really get you back into the mood of working on it. You know, you, you start a project and then you just kind of, eh, you kind of walk by it and you don't really do much, but... I need to hear this thing run like it always did, and uh, maybe, just maybe, that'll be it, and then, you know, down the road, um, it obviously deserves some fresh new stuff, including, you know, probably aluminum intake and stuff, this one's been uh, leaking for a while, the original one, so, I'll probably get a nice one for it, and who knows? Might even pull it out, freshen it up. We'll see. See what happens.
it is now. Put it right back where the other one was. But all black Chevy. choke wouldn't uh, kick down. Don't know what's going on with that, but um, I got that figured out, calmed it down a little bit, and uh, tightened up the distributor. And uh, it's basically, my theory is wrong on that because it's, uh, it's running exactly the same as it was with the other distributor. tapper but see it's got like a
like a mess, but... revving up a lot better it wasn't uh doing that before so i don't know i don't know what to think at least you can uh you can give her the goose now she really takes it but it's got that weird idle just like a little shake i don't know well i guess i can say i'm you know half satisfied with that um It was a quick little thing, kind of, kind of a stupid thing, you know, to see maybe if that was it the whole time. Um, definitely seems like it's running better. It, it wouldn't even, uh, you couldn't even rev it up, you know, past not even 2,500, 3,000 RPMs. Uh, last time I, when I drove it in here, it was like barely running like, uh, like Christine, you know, when it's coming in the the shop at the end of the night. Um, still got that weird little shimmy to it, like it, um, that weird idle, like a, it's not really, it's not a miss, it's uh, fire on all eight, but it's, um, I don't know. Maybe that carburetor, maybe it's, uh, I guess, uh, I mean, I've had a lot of Edelbrocks, I never had one do that, but, um, I don't have any extras these days, just kicking around. Usually I have another one sitting there, I can just try and kind of rule it out, but, uh, I'd have to take one off of something else, but, I guess, uh, I don't know. So as always, let me know what you guys think. You got any ideas? So, I, don't know, I'd be looking at myself, maybe something to do with the carburetor next. But uh, yeah, a lot of good uh, ideas on the old uh, Raider plow situation. Um, in the process of uh, trying a few things and uh, that solenoid um, it was only 13 bucks on Amazon so I just went ahead and ordered that um, you know I don't mind that I mean if that's all it is to at least make it work again you know at least it was working a little bit but um, as far as the pump goes I'm not sure yet once I get that in, I'm going to mess around with it a little more. But thanks for, uh, for all the comments and suggestions.